Good morning, everyone. This is Lindsay from the New York office. Looks like we have everyone here, so we're just going to jump right into questions regarding the Q1 earnings. Uh, Cincinnati here. I'll start off. I'd like to get a figure of tangible gains, maybe as a number of product sales or some other metrics. I think I can jump in on this one. When looking at market share, we're looking at our flows versus industry flows in that segment. You could see our fund-to-fund -fund flow on slide 14. Yeah, this is Mike from Wichita. Q1 looks a little subpar compared to previous years, but I think we should diversify into overseas bonds. Hello, this is Daniel from Chicago office. If you look across all our product lines, the uh, inflows are beating industry average by a ton. This is Meg from San Jose. Given the growing diversity of the business and where the stock is trading, what are we looking at in terms of cash flows? <sighs> Are we looking to reshape the balance sheet? This is Adam from Boston, and I'm not sure I agree. I don't think that's necessary. Sheer level of liquidity and balance of our sheet has been consistently strong for several years now. This is Jeff from the Houston office. I'd like to add that although we're keeping a tight eye on our fund-to-fund flows, from a market share perspective, we're still pretty statistically insignificant. Destiny, you're on in five. This is Barrett from Ottawa. You've seen the Q1 results from the large pension funds, which are running 12 months, so 2 to 3 percent? Would you agree with me, Ken? I'm sorry, but I'm on the video conference from London and I'm seeing some truly bizarre things right now. Is anyone else seeing this? Yeah, I knew. 